Hello, hello, my cozy internet friends, and welcome back to the channel. And if you're brand new here, welcome. My name is Sue, and I love to talk all things cozy in indie gaming. And today I have a list for you. It is 12 games that are perfect for winter. Sadly, we are leaving autumn behind and winter is right around the corner. So I picked out 12 games that either have a winter theme or are just super cozy to play on a cold winter's day. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. The first one on my list today is a choose your own adventure game that stars doggies. So of course, I am going to include this one on the list. This one is called The Red Lantern and it released back in 2021 and since then has received very positive reviews. Someone in the reviewers actually described this game as like an Oregon Trail type game. And most reviewers seem to agree that if you love dogs and a beautiful atmosphere and a nice story, then you are going to love this game. If you aren't familiar with this one, let me read you a little snippet from the devs just to catch you up. The Red Red Lantern is a narrative dog sledding game about survival. You play as the musher who, along with her team of five sled dogs, must find her way home. Care for your dogs, discover their stories, and learn how to navigate the unknowns of the Alaskan wilderness and prepare for your new life. In this trail-based adventure game, you must manage your resources, care for your team, and learn from your failures and find a way home. If this one sounds amazing and you want to try it, it is available on PC and Switch for $24. $4.99. The next one on my list today is a cute and cozy grid-based puzzle game called Arcticopia. This one came out last year and since then it has received very positive reviews. I actually learned about this one from Cozy K and I added it to my wish list and ended up playing it and it's actually kind of a really fun game. And of course I thought it was perfect for my winter theme list today and if you are unfamiliar with this one, which you probably are because it only has 15 reviews views on Steam, I've got you because I'm going to tell you about it right now. Arcticopia is a puzzle solving game in the Arctic Ocean. Figure out routes and plan your moves to help Mama Polar Bear find her cub on the melting ice. As the ice sheets melt away, the polar bear's route home becomes even more treacherous. Immerse yourself in a frigid, hand-drawn North Pole as you cross the Arctic Ocean. You will plan your every step carefully. With each move that you make, the ice under your paws melts a little bit. Relax and take your time puzzle solving. It's easy to retrace your steps or try a different level. You can chill and enjoy the challenge features. There are 10 unique mechanics woven into 150 intriguing levels. This one is actually available available on PC, Switch, iOS, and Android for $4.99. The next one on my list today is a game that holds a special place in my heart because I played it earlier this year on Switch when it first came out and I fell in love with it. My only complaint with this one is that it's too short. This one is called Blanc. Basically, everything in this game is just so good from the art style to the puzzles to the story and the characters. And again, my only complaint and a lot of people's complaint this one is how short it is. But honestly, I don't even care because the game was just so good that it left me wanting more. They describe this game as an emotional and atmospheric adventure game. And I completely agree with them on that description. And you don't even have to take my word for it because since it came out, it has received very positive reviews on Steam. Most people seem to agree that the game is so relaxing and so good, but it's super short. And a lot of people say that they recommend playing it with a controller because playing with a keyboard and mouse kind of makes it difficult. I did play with a controller on Switch and I feel like the game did run perfect on there and the controls were just fine. Blanc is an artistic cooperative adventure that follows the journey of a wolf cub and a fawn stranded in a vast snowy wilderness. They must come together in an unlikely partnership to find their families. Experience the poetic tale in the spectacular world of Blanc. Lost in a sudden snowstorm, they must lean on each other in order to follow the footprints their families left behind in the snow. Immerse yourself in the stunningly beautiful black and white world of Blanc, completely hand-drawn on paper in 2D before coming to life in 3D. Blanc focuses on the journey and experience of the animals with a text-free gameplay and storytelling, allowing the players to dive completely into this wondrous world. 
And if you want to experience this wonderful and emotional game yourself, you can on Switch and PC for $14.99. The next one on my list actually consists of two games because the sequel came out not too long ago. This one is Coffee Talk 1 and 2. Now, I have discussed Coffee Talk a lot on my channel because this is a beloved game within the cozy community. Even though there is a lot of dialogue and it's not completely my cup of tea, I still see what everybody loves about this game. And you get to do all kinds of things in this game you get to talk to a bunch of unique characters that are human and non-human. You get to give them advice and hear their stories. And you also get to be a barista and make coffee drinks. And if you are unfamiliar with these games, let me tell you what the devs have said about it. So I'll start with Coffee Talk 1. This is a game about listening to people's problems and helping them by serving up a warm drink out of the ingredients you have in stock. It is a game that depicts lives as humanly as possible while having a cast that is more than just humans. Immerse yourself in the stories of alternative Seattle inhabitants, ranging from a dramatic love story between an elf and a succubus, an alien trying to understand human lives, and many others. And now let me tell you a little bit about Coffee Talk 2. In a time where people are isolated from each other, Coffee Talk is a place where we can reconnect over a cup of a warm drink. It's time to revisit your favorite late night coffee shop and reconnect with your fantasy friends over a warm drink or two. You are a barista and your customers aren't always humans. You'll listen to their stories and influence their hearts over a warm cup of coffee. Both of these games are available on all consoles and PC. Coffee Talk one is $12.99 and Coffee Talk 2 is $14.99. You can actually buy these both in a bundle for $25. A Good Snowman is Hard to Build is the next game on my list, and I have to be completely honest here, I had never heard of this game until I started researching some wintry themed games for this list. And what I do is I usually take a look at some reviews and some screenshots and maybe watch a trailer on YouTube, and I kind of fell in love with this game. And it's not just me because this game did come out in 2015, and since then it has gained very positive reviews on Steam. And I also want to note here that this game has won several awards as well. So between the reviews, the trailers, and the fact that it actually won rewards, I was like, I'm definitely adding this to my winter list, and I've also added it to my wish list. And if you're unfamiliar with this one, then let me tell you about it right now. So first of all, I just want to say that they do describe this game as a cute and relaxing open world puzzle game. They only have one sentence in the about section, which I will tell you about right now. It actually says a good snowman is hard to build as an adorable puzzle game about being a monster and making snowmen. That's literally all the description says, so I went straight to the reviews, and most reviewers said that this game is amazing, and there is a lot more to this than just the main storyline. People said that after you finish the main quest, you can actually go back and find a bunch of secrets, and most reviewers said that they played this game with family members who aren't gamers and had a really fun time doing so. And if you want to try this game out for yourself, this one is $14.99, and it is available on all consoles, mobile, and PC. The next one on my list is a hidden object game where you will actually help cats find their way home. This one is called Hidden Paws. And kind of a little bonus to this one is that there is actually a Christmas themed DLC that you can download and play with this one. This one came to us way back in 2018 and since then it has received very positive reviews. Most reviewers say that this game is kind of low key and relaxing. Many of them said that it is challenging but there is a hint system and the hints are very good at helping you without making things too obvious. Let me tell you a little bit about this game in the words from the dev team. It's winter and cats are still outside, cold and alone. Find them and bring them home. This one features 12 charming winter landscapes with over 120 little cats to find. There is a free Christmas update that adds four festive aisles. Is there a cat in a gift box? Open cars and boxes, rummage through piles of wood, search the forest. Cats are well hidden, but they meow when you are near. So listen closely and you might just be able to find them. This one is a steal at $2.99 and it is available on Switch and PC. The next one on my list is a game that I have talked about a couple times on my channel. I think I featured it in my games you can play when you're stressed. This one is called Spirit of the North. I have to say that this is truly one of the most beautiful games that I have ever played in my entire life. 
It's really just super relaxing and meditative to play this game. And this game takes place in an Iceland-like world that is very wintry, which is why I included it on this list. This one released back in 2020 and since then has received very positive reviews. Most reviewers seem to agree with me that this story is beautiful and heartwarming and the art style is absolutely stunning. Spirit of the North is a single-player, third-person adventure game inspired by the breathtaking and mysterious landscapes of Iceland. The story takes root from various pieces of Nordic folklore. Play as an ordinary red fox whose story becomes entwined with the guardian of the Northern Lights, a magical spirit fox. As you journey over the mountains and under the red-stained skies, you'll discover more about your companion and the land left in ruin. Uniquely designed to purposely have no dialogue or narration, players must breathe in their surroundings to solve various puzzles and speculate the meaning of the lost ancient civilization. So this game is normally $19.99, but when I wrote this script, it was actually 70% off at $5.99. So you can definitely pick this one up when it goes on sale if you're unsure about it. I played this one on Switch and it ran beautifully on there, so I wouldn't worry about that. It's also available on all other consoles and PC. The next one on my list is called Project Winter. The name basically summarizes why I put it on this list. This is a game on my list today that might not be considered completely cozy, but I am including it on this list because it has received really good reviews. A lot of people say it's so much fun to play in multiplayer. It's basically like a social deduction game, kind of like Among Us, where you are tasked to survive with a bunch of other people and you'll be assigned a role at the beginning and basically you're surviving while also trying to find out who the bad guy is here. It sounds like there will be a lot of betrayals had in this game which will lead to some funny moments and some playful bickering. So not only did I include this on my list because it takes place in a wintry atmosphere but it's a really good game to play multiplayer with a bunch of friends and family on a very cold winter's day when you can't even go outside. Let me tell you a little bit about this one from their Steam page. The perfect game to backstab your friends. Project Winter is an eight-person multiplayer game focusing on social deception and survival. Communication and teamwork is essential to the survivor's ultimate goal of escape. Gather resources, repair structures, and brave the wilderness together. Just be aware that there are traitors within the group working to sabotage your chances of getting out alive by any means necessary. So like I said, you will take on one one of a couple of roles of survivor or trader, and there will be a ton of customization for your gameplay as well as your avatar. This one is only $9.99. It's available on all consoles and PC. And a bonus is that it is cross-platform, so if your friends don't have a Switch or a PC, everybody can still play together. The next one on my list is kind of a cult classic. It's called Tracks: the Train Set Game. And the reason that I have included this one on my list today is because it's a great game to just kind of turn your mind off and play and get immersed in this world. Plus, there is a wintry biome that you can play in as well. Basically, this one is an open world sandbox game where you are going to be making a town of your dreams, kind of based around a train set. You can start with a pre-made town or you can completely start from scratch and build it yourself. For some reason, the art style just kind of reminded me of the worlds in The Sims 2 and Sims 3, so it's kind of what drew me to the game in the first place. And you don't have to take my word for it because it did come out in 2019 and has received mostly positive reviews since then. Most reviewers seem to agree that this game is super wholesome and super fun, and a lot of people say that their kids absolutely adore this one. People also say that you don't need to be any kind of a train enthusiast or train set enthusiast to enjoy this game. Any Anybody can enjoy this one. Basically, this game is less about the trains, it seems like, and more about just the customization and building up your city. Kind of like a Sim City type game. But instead of me just rambling on about what this game is about, let me just read you the little snippet that the devs wrote. Tracks is a beautiful toy train set builder which gives you the tools to play without limits. Jump into an expansive sandbox and lay down track pieces. 
create bridges, and build towns with Trek's easy gameplay. Once you're ready, hop into the driver's seat and ride your little train in first-person view, controlling the speed and the direction as you ride the rails. Start with pre-made environments, be it a modern lounge or a nighttime winter wonderland, or jump into an entirely blank world canvas. Add trees and foliage from the various world biomes, building stations, animals, vehicles, decor, and more. Customize your world further by altering the terrain and fog colors. Make your train your own by selecting colors and patterns. Play with boosters, musical bells, and ramps to make your train set an exciting ride. For a more complex railway system, add junctions and even introduce multiple trains from sprawling green countryside to desert towns or an atmospheric foggy industry site to a vibrant circus setup. Countless options await you and your train set. Let your imagination thrive and build a toy train set of your dreams. This one is $19.99 and available on Switch, Xbox, and PC. Road Not Taken is a turn-based roguelike puzzle game that takes place in a wintry landscape where there is a brutal winter storm. This one came out in 2014 and since then has received very positive reviews. People seem to agree that the game is adorable and the puzzles are super intuitive. I will be honest here and say that some people do state that they love the game, but they are not too sure about the rogue-like aspect of the game. They don't like having to kind of start over after you fail. So if that is something that you maybe aren't interested in because it doesn't sound very cozy in that aspect, feel free to just skip to the next one. If you're still here, then let me tell you about this one. Road Not Taken is a rogue-like puzzle game about surviving life's surprises. You play as a ranger adventuring through a vast, unforgiving forest in the aftermath of a brutal winter storm, rescuing children who have lost their way. Randomly generated levels deliver a limitless supply of possibilities to explore and challenges to overcome. Your actions will influence not only your own story, but that of the villagers you hope to befriend in a town you call home. This one is available on all consoles except Switch, unfortunately. This one is $14.99. Song of Nunu is a game that I have talked about several times on my channel. Well, the good news is it finally released on November 1st, and since then it has received overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam with over 800 reviewers. Everyone seems to agree that this game is absolutely gorgeous, the story is beautiful, everyone loves the Yeti friend, and people agree that you do not need to be a League of Legends fan to actually play this game because it is completely a standalone story. Two best friends, one wild adventure. Join best friends Nunu and Willem on an adventure across the frozen wilds of the fjord. Discover the unbreakable bond between Boy and Yeti as you traverse a land both beautiful and treacherous, making new allies and enemies on a journey of family, friendship, and magic. Dive headfirst into an immersive narrative set in the undiscovered reaches of the fjord where every snowy step brings you closer to the truth about Nunu and Willem's past. This one is $29.99 and available on PC. The next one on my list is a game that I actually featured in a video called Four Games That I Returned. So I'm sure I'm gonna get called out about that one, but listen, just because I don't like the game does not mean that it's a bad game. This game is actually wonderful, it just wasn't my cup of tea. And if you're wondering what game this is, it's Roki. I may not have liked this one myself, but since its release in 2019, it has received very positive reviews, so it is definitely kind of just a me thing. Roki is a stunning adventure set in the snow-capped wilderness. As Tove, you must explore an uncharted world of hidden legends and forgotten monsters solve puzzles, collect curiosities, and uncover a tale of tragic loss as you chart your path to redemption. So some of the reasons that I did return it to Steam were just because it was a little more dialogue heavy than I expected, and we all know how I feel about that, and I just felt like the progression was slow. Having said all this, I don't think it's a bad game. It just wasn't my cup of tea, and so I am including it on this list. And if you want to give it a try yourself, because lots of dialogue and slow progression is something that 
doesn't bother you, then you could play this one for $19.99 on all consoles and PC. Well, we have made it to the end of another one of my videos today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out. And if you enjoy list videos like this and watching somebody awkwardly live stream a ton of cozy games, then you should consider subscribing because that is exactly what I do here. And I was able to finally open up memberships on my channel. I have five membership tiers for you to take a look at. If it's something that you are interested, I would love to have you as a member and I will see you guys in the next one.